Welcome back to Chasing the Sun. I'm Eric. And I'm Janie. In the last vlog, we showed you where all of the great food is. This video will now focus in on the attractions and activities. There's so much things to do inside the city and also further away from the cities in New Orleans. All right, let's dive into it because there's so much to cover. New Orleans is one of America's most unique cities with a very unique vibe. Known the world over for jazz music, Cajun cuisine, and outrageous Mardi Gras celebrations. The city has something for everyone, including great music, architecture, and antiques. In this video, we'll give you 20 things that you can do and see in New Orleans. If you're visiting but don't have much time, then we would suggest to stay in the French Quarter because many of the attractions will be within walking distance. But for those who have a bit more time, we'll show you things you can do further out of the tourist area and even places you can drive to. New Orleans has been ruled by many different countries, but when the French was in power here, they built out this neighborhood and that's why it's called the French Quarter. It is the oldest and most famous neighborhood in New Orleans. In fact, the district itself is designated as a national historic landmark with many important heritage buildings in the district. Although it's full of tourists, it should still be on the top of your must-do list when you're in New Orleans. The best way to do this is to explore it on foot, and it would take you a few days because of the many things to do and see. The next 10 attractions are actually all within the French Quarter, so that goes to show you how much there is to do just in this neighborhood. If you like your Instagram photos and want a bit of a guide, then we suggest to book a walking photo tour. You get the benefit of the historic knowledge of the guide and they will show you all the great photo spots. We recommend doing this on your first or second day so you can get an overview of the great spot and then make a note of your favorites and come back to them on the rest of your stay. Jackson Square is a public park that is named after President Andrew Jackson. It's right beside the Mississippi River waterfront, and you definitely should walk along the river also since you're there anyways. They're really saying, I love you. Lewis Cathedral is right beside Jackson Square, so it's easy to visit since you're there anyways. Fun fact, is that the cathedral is the oldest continuously active Roman Catholic Church in the U.S. It's free to go in for a tour or you can just take photo outside, which many people do. The French market gives you a flavor of a European market. It started as a Native American trading post along the Mississippi in 1791 and then continued to evolve into a cultural and commercial hub for New Orleans. Now you can spend a whole day here trying the many food options, browsing the craft stalls, flea markets, and farmer's market. All right, this is Bourbon Street in the daytime. It gets even crazier at night. But this is such a lively scene, pedestrian only on certain parts. We're just at the tail end. Nighttime, pedestrian only for sure, and it's all bar all the time. Bourbon Street is New Orleans' famous street for never-ending nightlife. It's relatively quiet during the day, and especially during the weekdays. But come weekends, people from all over fly in to party on Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is the destination party place for the East Coast, like what Vegas is for the West Coast. It's pedestrian only and definitely worth a visit even if you're not into loud bars and crowds. Check back in our next vlog where we will tell you where all the bars and music attractions are, if that is your interest. If you're into big crowds and big celebrations, then Mardi Gras is the festival you will have to plan your trip around. It happens for two weeks and ends on Fat Tuesday near the end of February. Bourbon Street is where the action is, full of parades and people dress up in full costume. This is world famous and New Orleans is known for this, so it's not to be missed.
Now, if you did miss it and can't plan your trip around Mardi Gras, then there is a mini version of Mardi Gras that many tourists doesn't know about. It's called the Second Line Parade. It's not so much a party, but a celebration of life for those who recently passed. It happens every Sunday and consists of brass bands, and locals are welcome to join in on the festivities. So it's more like a roving musical block party. You can typically find it in the Tram Lafitte neighborhood, just northwest of the French Quarter. If you're into antiques and you're in the French Quarter, then make sure you look for their antique stores. Most of them are found on Royal Avenue inside the French Quarter, but there are others in the city also. I myself am interested in architectural antiques, and there are two stores which has a large collection, so I was quite happy. If you're into whiskeys and other spirits, then you can take a free distillery tour put on by Zazarak House. It's set up like a museum, which shares with you the history and traditions of spirits in New Orleans. It's a self-guided tour, and you will get to try few cocktails along the way. I do want to give full disclosure here in that this tour is put on by the distillers of Zazarak, so they will be promoting their own spirits. But there's no obligation to buy, and it was an interesting tour regardless. Although we didn't get a chance to visit the World War II museum ourselves, we were told by a few people that it's a must-see attraction. This museum is the largest World War II museum in the world, so if you are a war or history buff, then make sure you add it to your list and don't miss out like us. Another historic and unique thing to do in New Orleans is to ride their streetcars. They are the first passenger railroads in U.S. and is the oldest continuous running street railway in the world. So this is a must do when you're in town. One thing to note is that you will need exact change to ride. If you want to make it your mode of transportations, then you could buy unlimited passes called the Jassy passes. Just ask the locals or the streetcar operator. The Garden District has the collection of the most expensive houses and gardens in New Orleans. If you like architecture and historic 19th-century homes, then this is not to be missed. To get there, you can take the St. Charles line of the streetcar from the French Quarter and hop off at First and St. Charles. You can see a link to a Google Map of a walking tour, courtesy of Ginny from HillaLilHome.com. If walking is not your thing, then why don't you explore the city by renting a bike or even better, an electric scooter? There are a few places around that will have rentals. We rented our electric scooter from Nola Cycles and had an absolute blast exploring the districts outside of the French Quarter. The New Orleans City Park is northwest of the French Quarter, and you can get there by streetcar or scooter like we did. It's a huge park in the city and covers 1,300 acres with numerous attractions in it, including the New Orleans Botanical Garden, amusement park for the kids, the Museum of Art, and the sculpture garden which we visited. One of the more quirky and unique thing to do in New Orleans is to visit the cemetery. You may be wondering what is so special about a cemetery. Well, you see, most of New Orleans is below sea level, so to bury the disease in the ground is just not something people do here. So, as a result, you will have cemeteries which are marble chambers above ground. It definitely is something that is haunting, yet beautiful at the same time. While we're talking about eerie cemeteries, why not get even eerier with a ghost tour? Because of the old history of New Orleans, there are many stories of ghosts, vampires, and voodoo witchcraft in this town. The best way to hear of these is a guided tour from the locals. There are many, and we'll put a few in the description.
If you are looking for something completely different and possibly a day trip out of the city, then a swamp tour would be worth considering. New Orleans is situated very close to its swamps and bayous, so taking a boat tour to see the swamp land and wildlife including alligators is a popular thing for many people. New Orleans has very unique food including crawfish, gumbo, and oysters. There are many options for these within the French Quarter, but if you have time, then we would recommend venturing outside of the quarter and trying some of the local places. It will be cheaper and possibly better tasting too. Also, check out the card on the top right corner to watch the video where we showed you where all the good food places are. New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz and the level of live music in the town is out of this world. So when you're here, make sure you experience some live music. This could be a street performers or inside a bar. We will be showing you where to find all the live music in our next video. So make sure you subscribe to get notified. <laughs> Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video showing you some of the best things to do and see when you're in New Orleans. We have more videos on New Orleans travels. If you want some great local travel tips, then watch this video on the left. If you want to know where all the great food is, then check out this video on the right. And if you're into bars and live music, then you definitely want to check back in for our next video which shows you where all the great music can be found. <laughs>